We know that the world's major fish populations are endangered from overfishing, from coastal pollution, from overeating fish. There was a study that came out recently predicting that all the world's major fish populations, from tuna to scallops to lobsters to flounder, were going to be extinct by the middle of this century. What we have to remember is this isn't inevitable. The real irony is that just as we're understanding what a great food fish is, how healthy it is, how it's a brain food, it's a heart food, it's a sort of super food, at the very same time we're realizing how depleted the oceans are. If we want to keep seafood part of our diet into the future, we really have to treat it differently and eat a very different type of seafood and eat less seafood in the short term. If you want to imagine what sorts of fish we should and shouldn't be eating, a basic rule of thumb is we need to be eating lower on the marine food chain. We need to be eating less of the really big fish, the salmon, the tuna, the swordfish, the sharks. If we want to eat more sustainable seafood, it's going to mean eating the smaller fish, things like clams and oysters, mollusks, like anchovies and sardines. These fish are less endangered, partly because they're lower on the food chain, there are more of them, and they reproduce faster. If you're concerned about mercury contamination and some of the other toxins that are beginning to accumulate in seafood, the fish that are most important to avoid, again, are those bigger, longer-lived fish. Those are the fish that concentrate the most toxins. At the same time, eating seafood that's lower on the food chain, those fish tend to have less fat and they don't accumulate as much of those toxins because of what they eat. One other rule of thumb to keep in mind is to think about how the fish were caught. Part of the reason that the world's fish populations have become so endangered is because we've gotten so good at fishing. We can go after them with a net that's so large that it could literally pull a 747 airplane off the bottom of the ocean floor. Now, smaller fishers, and they're still going after fish in very selective ways, like with a hook and line, with a smaller net, with all sorts of fish traps. And so another good rule of thumb is choosing fish that's caught by smaller fishers, more artisanal fishing techniques, is also a good bet that you're doing better for the ocean, but also that the quality of the fish is likely to be higher. Whether you have health concerns or you're just concerned about the fish population in general, it's a good rule of thumb to begin eating lower on the marine food chain.